Well, today we have a, a special treat. Uh, a friend of mine, Yuki Takahashi, was here in town in Los Angeles, happened to be just down the street, <laughs> popped me an email, and was nice enough to come over uh, and join us for lunch. And I have imposed on him terribly to sit down um, for a quick interview because I wanted to get him to tell a few stories because um, Yuki is a scientist, uh, just about hopefully to complete a PhD yeah. at Berkeley in <laughs> astrophysics, yeah. and has had a really cool and unique chance to do some interesting research in a cool place. I wonder if you could just tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so yeah, I had a chance to actually go to Antarctica, especially, um, particularly the South Pole, to build a telescope there to study how the universe started. So we built a telescope to look at the light from the Big Bang. And yeah, so I've had the chance to go there four times, two to three months at a time. And yeah, it's been amazing. Like, I mean, <laughs> I never dreamed of going there, you know? when I was little, and yeah, I feel really just lucky and privileged, yeah. So I, I know a lot of people, when we go out and we talk about the Google Lunar X Prize and the importance of having reliable access to the moon, people say, why would you want to go to the moon? It's desolate, it's barren, there aren't any people there, there's nothing to do, why would you want to do that? You've had a chance to go <laughs> to another place that's sort of desolate and barren and far away and dangerous. Right. Why is it important that we have access to go to places like that? Well, personally, well, personally, like, I, I became interested in the moon when I was about uh, in high school because when I started looking at the moon and I just started wondering like what it's what it's like there and I wanted to check out what it and I always like traveling within earth too like all over the place and I feel like the universe is so huge that we don't need to restrict ourselves on the, this planet even though there's like so many wonderful things on the planet too but I wanted to get out to the moon um, and look back at the Earth. That's what I want to do the most. And so just a sense of exploration. Um, and that's the same reason I wanted to go to Antarctica, too. Uh, I wanted to see like man, <laughs> what the place was like. Had no idea what it's going to be like. And yeah. Very so. cool. Can, can you describe your experiment to us a little bit? Yeah, yeah. So we're a team of about uh, 15 people. Um, from Caltech, UC Berkeley, and UC San Diego, and JPL. And we built a telescope because we wanted to find out how the universe started and how the Big Bang itself started, like the very fir first tiny fraction of a second of the universe. And so, yeah, we started building the telescope around 2003. And then we uh, set, went to, the, to Antarctica in 2005, end of 2005, and started uh, running the telescope. So yeah. did, did the telescope need to be in Antarctica? Could you have put it on a mountain here in California? Would it have worked? Or wh why did you need, oh, need right. to go down there? Yeah, because uh, we're looking at the radiation from the South Pole, uh, from, from uh, the Big Bang, its microwave background. And that gets absorbed by any water vapor in the atmosphere. So we want somewhere that's very dry. And also, the South Pole is at 2,800 meter altitude. So it's above a lot of the, all of the atmosphere. And in addition, there's a great infrastructure there, like a place to stay, a station for support. So those are all the reasons we went. And half of the year, the sun is below the horizon. So that also helps. We can look at the, keep observing uh, continuously. And yeah. Excellent. OK, my last question for you. I know that you're uh, involved in the Space Generation Group, yeah. uh, and specifically, you're a regional coordinator for Japan. Oh, national. And, uh, one national of the, coordinator. One of the for, two national coordinators. Excellent, okay. excellent. So uh, we have some fans in Japan. If they're watching, what would you tell them about what's the future of, of commercial space, of exploration in Japan? What advice would you give to students who are maybe thinking about going into the space industry uh, who are Japanese or who will be studying or working mm -hmm. in Japan? Yeah, I would recommend. Uh, personally, I grew up in Japan, and I, I was interested in uh, astronomy and things, but then I didn't really feel that going to outer space was like a possibility when I was there. But now, um, nowadays, like it's so international, and and I feel like I would recommend actually getting out to different countries and seeing like what what possibilities there are outside of Japan even, and so. Yeah, when I came to the U.S., that's what got me inspired, and so I would recommend that. Um, cool. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I really okay. appreciate it. Yeah. It was very kind of you to take the time. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks.